Hi guys, I wanted to show you how to complete the investigation when push comes to shove. So we're going to go online and we're going to explore this FET interactive simulation. This is the link I provided. It's called Forces and Motions Basics. So I wanted you to explore the simulation on your own and play with any of these four different um, simulations you can do. Once you're here, you're going to return to the home screen. This is the home screen. And then click on the motion icon. So from number one, we're going to click on the motion icon together. And then from here, from the screen, we are always going to check these values. Turn them on. The values, the masses, and the speed. Now we can see the speedometer. We can see the mass for all of these objects on the screen here. And if you ever need to reset it, there's a reset button right here. But if you do reset it and you click this button there, you'll see that it unchecks those. So we'll have to recheck those every time we reset it. So please leave those values on. And it's gonna say what to do for each step. So it says apply 50 Newtons of force until the speed reaches approximately 20 meters per second. So I'm gonna push our box here. You can see that I've applied 50 Newtons of force. It says it right here and it says it right here. Once I've done that, I am going to remove the applied force. I'm gonna click right here. I'm gonna click right there and click away and I'm gonna remove the force right here at 20 seconds, 20 meters a second. And I know it's a little buggy on the zoom screen, but you can see that my box is still moving. It's not slowing down and it is going at 20.7 meters per second. So I let go at 20.7 meters per second. You can see that right here. And it's still continuing to go at that speed. It's not slowing down. And if you wait maybe a minute or two, you would see it still continues to go at that speed. So now I'm gonna write and answer this in my box here, what I saw. I observed the box continued to move in the same direction at 20.7 meters per second after letting go. That's what I saw, so that's what I'm gonna write. And now it says reset the simulation, check the boxes for values, masses, and speed apply 500 Newtons of force and do it again. So we're gonna try this again. We're gonna hit it up to 500 now and see what happens. Does it make a difference in the speed of the box? So let's do it again, all the way to 500. Oh man, I got there really fast. Man, it sped up so fast. Did you see that? It, it sped up so fast, it got up to 30.3 meters per second before I could even slow it down and pull that force away. So let's write about that. That's what I saw happen. So when I applied the 500 Newtons of force, the box accelerated much faster. We saw that, but now as you can see, my box is still moving. It's still going at 30.3 meters per second. It hasn't slowed down. It's going at the same speed and it's continuing to move in the same direction. So I want to write that too. The box continued to move with the same speed from when I let go. And that's what we see happening. So what I want you to do on your end now is to continue doing these questions six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and, and describe what you see happening with the motion of the box.